What's going on, you guys? It's Lloyd here with The Single Guy, and I have a very special guest today, Mr. Hey, what's up, guys? Mo Bassi. Really, really glad to be here, and thank you, Lloyd, for having me on. Of course, man. So I've known Mo for a while now. Uh, we've been working together on a lot of different things, and we talk about similar topics, and one of the things that I talk about on this channel a lot is how to handle things like a high-value man. Well, no one embodies this more than Mo Abbasi, and he talks about it a lot in his channel and in his various programs as well, too. So I wanted Mo to come here and basically tell us what it means to be a high-value man, especially when it comes to getting girls. That's what this channel is all about. So give us a quick rundown. What does a high-value man have, and how does he handle himself uh, with women, Mo? Sure. So the biggest thing with being a high-value guy is, to me, a high-value guy is basically who has it all in his own life. Uh, if you look at you know 99% of guys out there, they're reactive. They're kind of letting society let them think in a certain way or do things in a certain way and they don't really live life on their own terms so one of the biggest things for me was in my own life i had to figure out how do i have it all you know the wealth the relationships uh the people that i want around me the health that i want how do i en encompass everything and make sure that i'm actually getting everything handled in my life um one of the biggest things that you know i've learned over the years is that as a high value guy you have to have a lot of poise you have to be unreactive. You have to constantly be moving forward. Um, and most men are so tapped away from that that they're just constantly coming from a place of reactivity. They're yeah. going about their life just reacting to things instead of actually being the cause. Yeah. Oh, this girl didn't text me back or that sort of thing, right? Right. Especially like, yeah, with women, it's like if you want to be quote unquote higher value, like there's so many guys who'll be like, I want a 10 out of 10 girl. Yeah, yeah, everyone. But it's like... <laughs> Dude, you're living in your parents' basement right now. You don't have a job. You're eating cereal every day and you're playing video games and you don't work out. It's like, <laughs> how do you, how, where was the logic behind that where you thought you were going to get a 10 out of 10? The 10 out of 10s, the girls who are really hot, they're going to be with the guy who is financially successful or has a job and can take care of himself. Yeah. Uh, the dude who doesn't make excuses and has ambition and goes towards what he actually wants in his life. The guy who is not a procrastinator, so if he wants to have a good body, good health, he actually goes out and does it and he has the habits and systems in place for him to be able to actually go out and work out or talk to people or have a good social life. So if you want that 10 out of 10 high value, high quality woman, guess what? You're also going to have to become that 10 out of 10 high value, high quality guy. <laughs> So, and, and most, most guys don't get that. They think there's some like trick or technique. Or a mindset shift. Right. Like it's like some <laughs> magical mindset shift that's like, oh, I can still, you know, eat cereal all day and get that 10 out of 10 girl. That's just not how it works. There's a good quote by um, Charlie Munger, who's a self-made billionaire. He's right, right. Uh, Warren Buffett's right-hand man. And he says, in order to get what you want, you have to deserve what you want. The world is not yet enough of a crazy place to reward a whole bunch of undeserving people. Right. And this is the mentality that most guys are in. It's just like this entitled, like, oh, I should have it just because it's me. You know, I'm special. I saw her on Instagram, you know. Right. Like, it's like, <laughs> why shouldn't, uh, let me why DM her. I be able to get that? <laughs> yeah, <now>, exactly. Right? <laughs> and then when they... When the girl doesn't want to be around them, because it's a clear no-brainer that yeah. the guy shouldn't get the girl, they get pissed off. They get reactive, and then they become, you know, you'll see incels and red pill and they, men go, they go, like... Yeah, they go to the, they turn to those sorts of things. Right. So the biggest thing, man, is like if you want that girl, see what kind of things she's doing. If you want the girl who works out, eats healthy, reads books, meditates, uh, has her shit together, has good finances... Yo, guess what? You're going to have to do the same thing. Yeah. So what do you think about this? I think it's great, man. You know, it's funny you describe that guy who's like living in his mom's basement eating cereal. Um, you know, I was that guy for a while. And, you know, there were certain things that I did at that point to put myself on the right track. And the cool thing I think about women is that... They don't, some women will judge you on your current circumstance, but there are a lot of women who will also see your potential. They they can kind of see, even though he's not at the place where he's got the fancy cars or, you know, he's he, he doesn't have his career all sorted out, but he's on track to be able to do that. And I've seen a lot of successful people, they are able to, a lot of times they found their partner before they had this success. And I was wondering, wow, that's possible. And it's because the, the, sometimes the women can see it if she's right. smart, if she's good at it. So what are some things that guys can 
can do right now if they are like a three out of ten where they're in their mom's basement or they're just not taking care of themselves and they're not, they're not on the path towards um, becoming a high value guy. What are some stuff that they can do right now to show that potential? Yeah, so I'm going to preface this by saying there's a good book that everyone should read, which is called um, uh, No BS Wealth Attraction by Dan Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's a phenomenal book because it goes over how you can attract abundance in your life, just in general. Um, because at some point in my life, I was also the guy. I, I like the guy that I just described. That was me. Like I was <laughs> in my parents' basement. I was eating cereal and playing video games all day and not working out and just terrible fucking habits. And at that time, I remember I wasn't getting laid at all. I wasn't getting any woman. I didn't have any money. I was actually majorly in debt. But the the thing that I made the distinction to be able to get out of that is like, I was like, let's start with one thing at a time. Just one small thing. Just start with meditating two minutes a day if you haven't done it before. And then stack the wins on top of the other wins. You want to create opportunity momentum. Yeah. So if you are... If you don't have anything going on in your life, why don't you just start meditating two minutes a day? And then once you have that as a habit, meditate a little bit longer. Then once you have that as a habit, start reading books. Then start working out. Get your body together, right? And that itself will make you feel really good to be able to continuously go on that momentum where you can get other things handled. Then you'll be able to get a job. Use the money to invest in yourself. Use the money to invest in education. You know, take a boot camp, for example. Like, so many guys will like, say that like, oh, well, these things are expensive to do. Going to the gym is expensive. Right. Eating healthy is expensive. You know, um, spending all my time doing a nine to five, I don't want to do that. I'm too good for that. Yeah. Or I shouldn't take a boot camp because why, why don't girls want to have sex with me? It's like, mm -hmm. dude, there's, there's you and then there's the person who's doing all that stuff. So if you want to get to where he is, you got to do the same exact shit. Exactly. And so, like, for me, it was like I had to start with little habits. Then once I got the little habits there and also removing bad habits, then once I did that, then I started seeking a job, got a job, you know, invested in myself. I took a bunch of different programs, with, you know, pickup guys, coaches, like stuff like that. And then eventually um, I started investing into my own business education, started having skills. And then from there, you move up and up. Now, during that journey, even though I was still in my mom's basement. Right. I started getting laid. Yeah. yeah. And, the, and the reason why is because this is an evolutionary psychology thing. Dr. David Buss talks about this. He says that ambition, the, the, when a girl sees that you have ambition, she knows that your future trajectory is really good. Yes. That there is a high chance in the future that you are going to be high value yeah. because of this ambition. Yeah. So over time, when you stack these habits on top of each other and you also remove your bad habits and you start creating little wins that stack on top of each other and to create big wins, and the girls are seeing this as you're meeting women, then they're going to see that ambition. And even if you are in your parents' basement, you're still going to get laid a lot. Exactly. And then eventually, like because of this, you're going to want to move out of your parents' basement and start doing cooler shit. You get a good career. You make good money. You invest in your own education. You invest into communication skills or meeting women or um, you know business or your health, like whatever it is. And then it just keeps going up and up. The, the saying that the rich get richer is 100% true. And the reason why is because they already have such a high momentum yeah. that it's kind of hard to lose. And the mindset too, also that can help as well. Right, like they have, a, they have the abundance mindset, right? They're constantly moving forward. And so it's not just rich in wealth, but it's like rich in health, rich in relationships, rich in all these different areas. Right. They're constantly moving forward and that's why they get what they want. You, you touched on a couple things, and that's in a, you know, a really good summary of how I think a guy who's starting from nothing, uh, who is starting as like, he's a 2 out of 10 in terms of attractiveness towards women, um, to upgrade himself to be able to become that 10 out of 10 guy and attract the 10 out of 10 women. So you mentioned one thing that I wanted to touch up on. You said getting rid of bad habits. Mm -hmm. What are some bad habits that most guys who probably are watching this channel right now are doing or maybe some bad habits that you have that uh, they should start to eliminate? Yeah, 100%. That's, that's an amazing question, by the way. Um, so some bad habits, like for me personally back then, uh, I used to smoke a lot of weed. I used to drink a lot. I used to uh, not talk to women, right? Like just stay in my comfort zone, stay in my shell. I used to play a lot of video games, spend a lot of time behind the screen 
for guys today it might be like Instagram and just scrolling on Instagram and Facebook and right, right, right. having models that they follow and just like that triggers them. Uh, porn and masturbation, like you have to get rid of that if you want to get good with women. Um, those are those are mainly it. Like influence of drugs, like bad friends, bad environments, right? Yes, yes. Um, that was a big one for me. It's like I had all these friends who were just losers. Like they were just honestly losers. Yeah, yeah. And it's like if you have those people around you, it's going to be really hard to level up. Right now we're at the high status summit. And we're around people who are making millions of dollars, $7 million, $8 million, And they're constantly moving forward. The people around us are all trying to move forward. And so when you surround yourself around people like this, then it's a no-brainer for you to want to also crush it because you're like yeah. man they started where i was but they saw their potential and they captured it and look at the amazing life they live and then yeah. you start thinking about yourself in that manner it's like fuck well i got potential too like i can do this as well if yeah. that person can do it so you start pushing yourself you start pushing your boundary you start pushing your comfort zone and then you start getting into the good habits so uh, the biggest thing for a lot of guys who are watching this, like, no fap has to be a must. Like, if you want to get girls, like, mm. you got to cut off porn. Um, you have to stop smoking weed and drinking. You have to stop spending so much time playing video games or being behind the screen or scrolling on Instagram and all this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just cut it all off, like, immediately. Like, go cold turkey. Um, you're most likely very addicted. Like, a lot of guys are super addicted to their screens and super addicted to stimulus to the point where they don't even feel alive. Right. Yeah, so th those are like the bad habits that I would say is, is the ones that you need to cut. Absolutely, man. Yeah, you talked about porn, masturbation, um, changing your environment. I think, too, just a little thing. I've talked about this before. He, he mentioned it. You know, if you're following thoughts on Instagram, guys, <laughs> that's not helping you get laid. Okay, even I do this, dude. I don't. I, the only hot girls that I have on my Instagram are, are girls that I've dated or girls that I've slept with or, or friends of mine. I, I don't follow them on Instagram. I just don't because um, I know that it doesn't benefit my life. So, um, yeah, dude, I, I think that's really great. Um, you also have a couple uh, offerings right now. Uh, I think you're, what are you, what are you, what are you doing right now? With yeah, that, if, with that sort of stuff? If people want to check out more of my stuff, uh, obviously the YouTube channel, we're going to release a video on mine as well. Yeah. So if you want to see that YouTube video, the one that we're going to do together, uh, I guess there would be a link down there. And then just hit me up on Instagram if you have any questions. Mo Bassi, M-O-E-A-B-B-A-S-S-I. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you made it, and consider subscribing. Obviously, too, I'm going to be doing a seminar in Los Angeles January 30th. It's going to be free. So if you guys want to come to that, it's going to be in Santa Monica. The details will follow. Also, too, I had a couple spots open up for my uh, new group coaching program that I'm starting. So there's a link in my description below. Click that link, fill out the form, and if you're a great fit, we'll get back to you. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.